Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents, the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. The one and only heavy duty cutie. Uh, big sleep from the West Coast. <laughs> he gets me every week. <laughs> every, every week. Oh every week. Oh. <laughs> He gets me every week. <laughs> every week, dude. <laughs> why, why, why do I, I, fall, I, fall, I fall for it, too? Because I'm like, all right, this is the week he's just going to say it, and we're going to be good. Every week. Every week. <laughs> he killed him every with the shade switch, man. <laughs> oh, so, ladies hey. and gentlemen, we had a great week. Uh, we down one member, but like we said, we're going to keep on rocking. So, y'all ready to rock? Yep. Let's do it. All right, without further ado, let's get it. And we give it back to you, the people. Okay, today's topic. All right, this is a thinker. Stop, Michelle. It's not a. It's not a curveball. <laughs> see now I can see you. I, 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 I don't got to stop. I don't got to stop. She's like, oh shit. <laughs> All right. No, no, this is serious. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna go curveball on this one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So say you have a really good friend that you've had for years. And you guys started working together at a company. I mean, a really good friend um, for years and years and years. Um, now, you guys have worked with each other or you guys have been friends for years. And now you work at the same company together and you kind of been working in the same area. Mm-hmm. Now, this really good friend of yours, you know that they don't. Like you work hard, but they don't necessarily do. But that's your girl or that's your boy. And you know, hey, at the end of the day, we got to get our job done, whatever. You bust your ass, they don't. You get promoted. And now you are their direct supervisor. Mm -hmm. Now this is your, your boy or your girl for years and years. Now you're directly in charge of them to the point where you have the ability to fire them, um, to get them raises, everything. Like you are, you're, you're a manager and they're directly under you. So not just a shift supervisor or anything like that. You manage the department and they work in the department. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, like I said, all this time, you know they slack. Mm-hmm. And they are your girl for years or they're your boy for years. How do you handle that situation? And you know all the bullshit that they were doing at the job. Like outside of work, they they go home and y'all talk about the shit. Like, yo, old supervisor thought I was I was supposed to, <laughs> you know, I, I was supposed to meet the quota or whatever. And man, I ain't met that quota in like six months. Right. Well, but I've been lying on my paperwork. Now you're the you're their direct manager. How do you deal with that? Well, in the work. Yeah, your friends. You go ahead, big sleep. Oh, oh. In the words of, um, um, in the words of Hove. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is William Wallace, a Hove white man. I don't care how long we've been friends. Sit your ass down. I know the bullshit you be on. We ain't cool. We ain't cool from. We ain't cool when we on the clock. I am a whole white man, and I'm giving you your review. So this is the bullshit that I know you do. These are the boxes that I need you to check on a daily basis. And if you don't think that I'm gonna be watching, yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I, I know all the time fooling. Cause I'm I'm not. If you if we that tight, mm-hmm. I'm not about to lose my job for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what like if they're I said, like, yeah, but I know your dirt too. That's I know where you be sleeping at the job. 
Well, I'm not. not I don't sleep there no more now that I've been promoted. <laughs> so you better, hey, hey, you, you better, you, you, you better, you better know that if I get up and I look and I don't see you at your desk, I'm going right to the spot. <laughs> I'm coming right to the spot. All right, know where you at? Big. I'm not. I'm not coming. I'm not coming looking for you. I'm coming with the camera. So when I have to fire your ass, you gonna know exactly why. You gonna fire your boy for that many years? Allow me to introduce myself. Like I said, I'm three percent Switzer. I'm Swiss. The, 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 the African ain't the African ain't firing you. It's it's Steve. It's, it's not me. It's Steve. Steve is Steve. Steve caught you sleeping. <laughs> Big Tom, what you doing? <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa, shit. Yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, hey, 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 Steve. Hey, 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 Antonio, hey, Antonio has left. Steven's here. Holy shit. Let me, let me dust off that resume. Yeah, Your ass is out of here. Your ass is out of here. Jesus. Hey, this my proposal. My all, you proposal. Can, all, you can, all you can get for me is a letter of recommendation. Your ass is out of here. My, my proposal to my boy is for me to help him change departments. <laughs> you got to get the fuck out of here, though. Right. Right. Because I don't want our friendship to get involved if I have to write him up. Right? So I will, I will come up to my friend, he or she, doesn't matter, and say, okay, well, this is how it is. You know, th this is what the company is expecting from me. I got to expect this from, you know, my teammates. So, you know, I'd be happy to have you in my team. But, you know, if you I try to, you know, play it off a little bit. Like, but if you feel like, you know, this may affect our friendship in any way, yo, I, go ahead and look for other, you know, openings. I'd be happy to help you get there, man. So, we, you know, so we don't break our friendship. But if you stay, know that... Um, I know the tricks of the trade. I know. What you do. Yeah, I already know, I know what you're I, doing. I, I know you go to your smoke break when you're not supposed to. I know you smashing so and so, you know, over there in the closet. <laughs> I got all the cheat codes, nigga. All that shit it stops stop because it, 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 it affects me personally. If it affects me, it affects my paper. I don't let nobody fuck with my paper. Wow. Wow. I give you options. Wow. And th this is the man that your your kids call uncle. Hey, unk. uncle. Uncle will be uncle will be an employee if he goes to a different department. <laughs> hey, hey, but well, uncle, uncle gotta get the fuck up at it. <laughs> hey, uncle gonna be spending a whole lot more time with y'all because this nigga ain't got no job, so he gonna be watching y'all. <laughs> he gonna be watching y'all while I'm at work. <laughs> what you got, Michelle? Okay. <laughs> like that. I don't have to sit my friend down and like, look, things change. This is what it is. If you can't follow the rules, I'm not look st sticking up for you. I just can't do it because mm. I love my job. If you don't, like I said, you go somewhere else, find another position somewhere else. But I will talk to you first. Give you the opportunity. But once I, once I put it out there, mm -mm. Like friendship yep. or not, you know, it's a respect. And then, like you said, if we, if we friends, you should understand that. You should want to do better anyway. Yep. Mm. You know, so. Okay. Yeah. So, um, now let me ask you guys this. Is that conversation happening in your new office or at the crib on the couch? Both, if I new, have to. New office mm -hmm. on the clock. Yeah. On the new clock. On the clock. Clock in. Clock in play. This is official. <laughs> <laughs> this is official. Wow. Yeah, we we'll do both. We we'll talk yes. about it off the clock while we at home having drinks and stuff to let them know, hey, this is this is what we can do. But when we get to work, then I'm gonna have another conversation. Like, okay, yep. what we did there is on a whole different thing. We can do this after work, but while we at work, I'm I'm strictly about getting my job done. And if you can't hey, do it, yeah. When we we talked about the first time, that was big sleep. Now you're talking to Steve McKelvey, the Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> who's your who's your boss? <laughs> Who's your boss? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Steve McKelvey's clocked in now. <laughs> wow. Yep. Now, what if they, they get petty and they start bringing it to the personal? Like, Bring because it. this person been around, so you guys run in the same circles, you got the same friends, and so now they, they, they bringing it to your family. They're like, yeah, 
Michelle they got changed, a lot of Michelle K done changed she old company yeah Motherfucker, is she she wants some bullshit. Yep. All she want to do now is get me in trouble. She trying to get your boy fired. She trying to get your girl fired. But you she trying, you knowing, right knowing, no, I got her the job, and she trying to get me fired now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know how yeah. you know how we do. Yeah. I got her the job. She trying to get me fired. Mm. See, I that's, go that's, to work and I work hard too. You know what I'm saying? See. She only got the job because. Of what we were doing together, mm. and now all of a sudden she done changed. <laughs> she missed corporate. Yeah, she tried to get hey. me fired. Hey, I, 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 I have to correct you because that conversation that conversation would be different. It wouldn't be she trying to get me fired. It's like that nigga done got me fired. <laughs> <laughs> he got me up out of here quick. <laughs> and then I'll explain to him, sir, it's not me. It's not Big Sleep from the West Coast. It's Stephen McKelvey, the Irishman. And if all your boys and family, I know for sleep ain't gonna make a damn bit of difference. But all your people coming like, come on, sleep man, you ain't have to do so and so like that. I'm like, uh, are, are you, you looking for you a know job? he got you no, know he, he got four you, kids so, and, 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 and three baby mamas, man. You yeah, he should he should he should have thought about that before he uh -huh. tried he tried to dig in my pockets, yeah. sir. Yeah. While we're having the conversation, are you looking for a job? Because I got an opening. <laughs> <laughs> We don't hurt. We don't hurt. We ain't working for your cool. as, as, as as long as you know. As long as, as long as you know where we stand. But in the same token, you you gave them opportunities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you told them how it is. Hey, starting Monday, this is what's happening. You know, I, again, I'd be happy to help you find another department, another location. But if not, I'd be happy to work with you. But you know, there's no grace. You got like your like job. And then, like we was, we was running all over the last supervisor because he was, he was a, you know, he was a sin. Yeah. Is that what is that what you think of me? If you my boy, you think you thinking that of me? Yeah. So now, so now I got to get your ass out of here on, on principle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with that same person, now they're like, all right. So now they're doing your bare minimum. So now, now the they're minimum? doing the job, but okay. now. Now you Mr. you Mr. the boss man. So now they're yep. going to the other people and they're like, yo, can you can you can you see what heavy duty's doing? Can you see what sleep or Michelle K's doing? Yo, they on some bullshit. Y'all remember I was here first and now they they on that bullshit. Oh, oh but, you, you yo, let me tell you about them. Let me tell you about them. You know, uh Michelle K mama wear that purple wig on Sundays, she be wearing it like every other Sunday. Like they, they start getting real petty on some bullshit. Well, you talk yeah. about my mama. Okay, see. See now you found yourself a nigga. You was looking for a nigga? Nigga here now. See? Okay. <laughs> 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 you don't know, you know sleep you know sleep uncle Uncle Willie be drinking all the time and that nigga be yo. Sleep had to carry this nigga to the hospital and he be talking all this shit about we gotta be right and we should work like a family, but he always be cursing out his his uncles and shit. I get to work and be like I get, I, I get to work and be like uh uh Tyrone, I'm gonna need you to clock in and come to my office. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh oh don't worry, I, I know it's early. I'm I'm gonna need you to clock in, we need to have a conversation. Mm hmm we'll clock in, by like, go ahead and clock out, your ass is fired. And he'd be like, For what? Cause. <laughs> He's like, man, them people lying. They they just jealous of our relationship and they they trying to break it out. I never said that to them. What I would like, do, uh -huh. I'm the type of person I go grab everybody. Team 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 team. I do that. He say she say. I, I know that's I right. Hate that more than anything. So uh, once you tell me some, who told you that? Then I'm gonna get that person, <laughs> and we all gonna go in the office to sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. I need to see go, you lying. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Go get him. Yeah, go get him. I, I, I love that part. So yeah, uh, we gonna talk about this. So but yeah, y'all gonna y'all gonna turn. Y'all gonna y'all gonna y'all gonna turn on each other. Hey, hey. What if, what if your boy or your girl, they going back and forth and then they go, Michelle, we been friends, so have you know me? Yeah. This nigga lying. And then I'm going to say, yeah, we, I know you too. And I yeah. know how yeah. things are, so no. Nigga, Nick, nigga, I found you in a smoke pit right now. That's what they complaining about. They complaining that you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. I'm smoking you quartz in your breath. Hey, did you, did you pull out your phone to show them the video? This is me running up on you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're supposed to be at your desk. Right. So, yeah. Mm -mm. You wonder why they mad, nigga. I keep catching you there, too. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that sounds pretty tough. Okay. Time to dirty it up a little bit. 
Let's do it. Bro. I'm All on right. the side of me and Jesus on the same side. <laughs> okay. Same scenario, but here's the plot twist. The friend that don't do shit at work, they got the promotion based on the fact y'all worked as a team and they might have been at the company longer. So they got the promotion based on the fact that they were slacking, but you were picking up all the slack. Now they're in charge. And now all of a sudden they're like, yo, Michelle K, yo, I appreciate you doing all that work. But um, now that I'm the manager, <laughs> I'm going to need you to pick it up some because, um, you know, I ain't doing that shit. So, <laughs> so now you still want me to do them? Time? Yeah. Uh, now, now I'm going to need you to do even more because I got to look good now. Well, let me be very clear. Ain't no way in hell. Hey, I would be mad at myself for even doing something like that in the beginning. Because you got what you got started, you got to finish it. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't give a damn. That, that building going to go down in flames. I'm not doing nothing extra. I'm going to do my job, do my position, and be done with and sit back and watch you fall. And But yeah, I wouldn't. Um, that's crazy. But I'd be mad. I'd be mad. But then I'd only be mad at myself because I did that, you know, so... But I'm not working. I'm not doing nothing extra. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Heavy duty? That's an easy one, brother. Mm -hmm. Pull out the job description, what, I, what it says. I'm doing 100% of what it says. No more, no extra. Done. I'm just doing the bare minimum. It tells me I got to do 100 units. I did 100 units. I'm not getting 100 on one. Can't fire me. All right, yeah. We can't fire you. But then if this same yo boy outside of work and now he's like, all right, yeah, yeah, you, you right, heavy duty. You absolutely right. I can't fire you. But, you know, when bonus time comes around, I can't really, you know, look out for you because you're just doing the minimum. You know, I appreciate okay. I appreciate how you helped me out and all. But, you know, now I now that I'm on top. My neck's on the line, so I can't really be, you know, just showing the favoritism because everybody already know we cool. Mm -hmm. So I, I need if you can't do any extra, I can't really justify hooking you up around bonus time. So I accept that. Not a problem. I accept it. You know why? Because in my mind, I know you're gonna fall in less than a year. Mm. And I'll be in your spot. Mm. Lazy. Yeah. And those lazy habits will carry over. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they, have, they already did. Yeah, they already you, did carry over. You may have a high for like the first month or two, like oh man, I'm doing my shit, mm -hmm. and then those those regular habits of not doing nothing, late paperwork, like everything, it's gonna catch up to you sooner or later. I'm gonna be like, no worries. Yeah, they I, could, or you could find another sip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody so, gonna do that extra. Yeah. <laughs> There's well, always I'm one in the me. office. It ain't me. What about I'm you, sleep? How you gonna handle that? Or how would so, you? So I've actually I've actually been in a situation like that when I was working a corporate kind of a kind of a corporate job where I was going above and beyond. I wasn't cool with the person who, who ended up getting promoted, but I basically I put myself out there and I did I went above and beyond so basically so that somebody else can look good and make their job easier. Mm -hmm. And what I learned from that is that in in a corporate setting, that's some bullshit. You let you let them fall where they fall. You do yep. your shit, and you let them fall where they fall. Yep. Because the more you put yourself out there, the more um, the more you expose yourself. Yep. So I, the the way I equate to it, and I'm not going to get into the details of it, mm -hmm. but the way I equate to it was basically I, it was like a boxing match, and my boss was in my corner the whole time. And, you know, he's giving me, I'm, I'm going out there, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, coming back. You know, he's, he's taping me up. He's telling me, okay, you know, dodge here. Good job. You're doing, you're doing good. And we get to like the, the late rounds of the fight. And I'm going out there and I'm hooking and jabbing with this guy. And I look and my boss is standing in this nigga's corner now. I'm like, wait, what? That, wait, wait, wait a minute. I go back to the corner. And now I'm trying to fight this nigga. And he's giving him all the tips that he was giving him in order to beat. Me. So when it, when it comes, when it comes down to it, especially in them corporate jobs, you know, they, they don't hire you to be like everything. They hire you to do a specific job. Do that. 
Okay. That's fair. Yep. Okay. And now that person decides to bring your work ethic to the personal life. That you know now well, he, I, he, he, he he's telling he your spouse it. or the significant other he's like, hey, you think you could talk to sleep or you think. <laughs> Cause um you know yeah we both used to be the same but now that I'm the manager, yo I hate to tell you but you know he's he's treading thin ice and I know you guys need the loot and I don't I don't I hate to have to fire him but you know he he's doing like the bare minimum and there's other people that's stepping up but he don't want to step up. Nah, first of all, that's bullshit. <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just strolled into my arena. Spartans, prepare for glory. <laughs> you, 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 you think I'm gonna come to here me. and let you talk to my wife about some shit that I'm doing out here? <laughs> Nigga, prepare to defend yourself. <laughs> Get in your basic warrior stance and prepare to defend yourself. Yeah, for those rip shots. <laughs> my nigga, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Nah. What you say? When we're done, now come get this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> come get this sandwich. You want peanut butter jelly or ham and cheese, nigga? <laughs> mm-hmm. Get up, get up, get some ice on that eye. Hey. And then y'all at the barbecue out in the backyard. You know, knock them down in front of all your kids and everybody else, and he be like, "You know, you fired on Monday. Mm-hmm. You know, you fired." Great. That's an HR. I'm like, Fantastic. Yeah. Like you can't. Well, if, if you te- if you're telling me that I'm fired, if you, if you're telling me that I'm fired, that's that's basically getting getting you to get me to clock. Can't talk to me. Yeah. You better you better wait till we clock in. Yeah. I'm gonna get you fired. Well, now I, I don't know the rules out there on the West Coast, but for yeah, all of that's us, where I'm going. Through. Yeah. Because all of us that's out in Georgia, going. y'all California, know California. Georgia's are at Will <laughs> State. Yep, Cali- so California my man is can not. go to work in the next <laughs> day, is not. and they can say, you know what, uh, we're eliminating your your position and not give you no reason. Yeah, not Georgia California, can let you California go and not, not give you no reason, and you're just out there. Take your ass to unemployment, go get your three hundred fifty dollars a week. California <laughs> is not. <laughs> California is a very employee employee first state. This yeah. is why a lot of companies wow. are leaving California because it's hard. Yeah, it's really hard for employers out here. Mm-hmm. I know that. People, companies like big companies get sued all the time for dumb shit. Oh yeah. I'm, I, I I haven't worked for the the company I was talking about. I haven't worked for them in almost. I haven't worked for them since 2015. And they're still getting sued for stuff that happened while I was there. So every couple of years, I get in, I get attached to a class action for some shit that happened in 2012, 2013, 2014. Wow. And I damn sure send it back. I'm like, yep, send me my bread. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when y'all figure it out. <laughs> yep, send me my bread. I, yes, I want to be a part of the class action. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but what about you guys? How you handle that? You know, in your backyard, in front of your family and everything. Getting loud, belligerent, cussing you out in front of your kids and mama and everybody else. Telling you, you know you fired on Monday. Is it time to let the color show? Because you're like, well, you know what? Fuck it, did. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let's finish it. At that point, hey. yeah, we, I, hey, somebody already fired anyway. So right. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> well, let's you, you, ain't, you, you, ain't, you ain't about to tell me I'm fired. You're going to have to write that shit in the email because your shit about to be wired shut for the yeah. next six weeks. <laughs> yeah. You might you have to email me that. Yeah. 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 You're going to try to figure out. Yeah. You ain't going to. You're going to be mad at the picnic. I'm like, you want a piece of pe- you want a pen and a piece of paper to let me know that you're going to fire me on Monday? Because you ain't going to be able to say it. It's going to be too painful. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to say it. Yeah. You're wow. going to be like Con- you Kanye singing through the wire. You ain't going to be able wow. to say it. Wow. wow. And you two, uh, heavy duty? Like, what you going to do if that's going down in your backyard in front of your babies and everything? Here's the here's the thing with, with, with my answer. Because I've worked for corporate for so many years in mm-hmm. leadership and management, I know a lot of the rules. Mm-hmm. Even though, you know, they can fire you or at will, 
you still have protection here, right? Mm -hmm. And I would be absolutely 1000% upset, ready to punch the dude, but I would use that to my advantage because I know sooner or later, if it's a party or barbecue, someone is recording something, mm -hmm. right? And I hope someone recorded that interaction because I'm going straight to corporate to that, straight to HR. I'm getting that person fired. Yo, <laughs> you got a gift, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, if you you would have a case at that point if Absolutely. somebody had whipped out the phone and and got it recorded of him saying that you absolutely do have a case. Correct. But if they did, <laughs> hey, hey, you know I can't easy. leave it clean. Dude. Hey, if they who's, did, who's, whose house we at? Because if we at your house, we just say Alexa, run back the ass with. <laughs> <laughs> Run back the ass woman. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> if I didn't say goodnight, she listened to everything. <laughs> she listened for it. Um Yeah, but say you're at the person's house. You know. Mm. And you know, like I said, y'all all go around the same circles, but it happens to be at their house, so it's in front of you know, you bought your kids and your significant other, but it's, you know, his family and stuff like that at his crib mm. or her crib, either. Or. So, I mean, you and, have, you, and that's why they showing out. Oh. That's well, you, why well, they showing well, out. Wait, wait. Yeah, they ain't going to show out in front of your house and your, your crazy ass jail yeah. cousins and uncles and shit. Yeah. They're gonna do that in front of their own. Well, I, 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 I'm, not I yeah, I'm not gonna fight the dude. I'm not gonna fight the dude because that's a different scenario. Now, I'm at your house because you know you have a fair, fair range. You can do anything to me because mm -hmm. I'm at your house. Mm -hmm. So I have to just wait. Yep. I have to wait that one out. <laughs> you gotta eat it. Yeah. You gotta eat those yeah. Yeah. Like, Bite yeah. that bottom lip. Like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be like, let me. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go ahead and leave because mm -hmm. other than that, you at my house? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, all hell has broken oh, yeah. loose. Right? You, you see, you and your you kids see, is gonna get it. Everybody, ain't nobody else. <laughs> okay, you, you know what beat the game? Kids, hey little ones, get my grandbabies on. <laughs> Whoop me! Hey. <laughs> you see, that's 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 where I have a di I have a difference of opinion. So if you if you at that house, you just have to you have to accept that you in enemy territory and you are gonna get jumped. Yep. However, right. the person where the the fire needs to be directed needs to feel you. <laughs> so, if, if it's the one that's popping off, you 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 destroy him, and you just accept getting jumped by the rest of his family. <laughs> so when he go back and he tell the story, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna have to be yeah we 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 got him up out of here, but he's not gonna tell the story because he's gonna know what happened to him. <laughs> what the hell? You after the fact? Yeah, I'll take I'll take I'll take I'll take I'll take Timberlands to the face, but I'm telling you that that one. He gonna know I was there. <laughs> so when he, so, so when he, so so when he when he think about firing me on Monday, you just gonna look at him and be like, yeah, you you remember, you remember, y'all got me, but you know what you got, you know what you got, you know you know what I can do to you, and none of them other niggas is here right now. You know what I can do to you. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Here's why. You have your family, you got your kids, right? And it's you versus a whole family gathering of, the, of them. I don't want my kids seeing that, bro. I don't want my kids thinking I'm a pussy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> mm. They be like, Dad, 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 like, Dad, you got, you got them Timberlands to the face, but that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave it to him. Yeah. Your kids are like, Dad, Dad, it took 10 of them. Yeah, it took me 10 to get you, Dad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's a mm -hmm. all ten of them to it's get you all, down. All, all ten of them and girls <laughs> and girls. You know, you know, I can't hit girls, so they, they had to jump in too. Like, hey, like, Dad, they didn't even get you until they hit you with the hot barbecue grill. Mm. That's yeah. what they, that's when they yeah. finally got you down. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't see the you gas get it? You see the gas explosion when they hit my back? <laughs> 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 
still look like rocket fuel. <laughs> only, 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 that, was the, that was the only way they can get me. That was the only way. But that, but that one though, like I said, when I'm sitting across from him on Monday morning, I'm sitting on the couch like this. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tyrone, that was that was just locked up ain't here. It's just me and you. And you remember what the last time you remember what happened when it was just me and you before Tyrone got there. <laughs> so say something. <laughs> say something. Well, part two. Yeah, you you might stand a chance because Tyrone booted me to the face and I still got a little bit of a concussion. But <laughs> hey, when it was just me and you, it's a problem. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I'm not sure about about the Cali rule sleep, but let <laughs> let me just a, a quick story. Um, the last position that I had that I um, they they eliminated my position in Georgia, right? And I hate to sound like the typical black person, but you know this this was some bullshit. Like it was hey. one of those situations where I was working for somebody and we had a deadline to meet, but. I had to pick up my son from daycare on the other side of Atlanta, and I was in good with the owner of the company. And the owner of the company, before when he hired me, I had been working there like five years already. So they knew and understood every other day, I had to leave the job at 3.30 to race from Alpharetta all the way down to, to West Cobb, to our side of town. And you know, when it comes to daycare, you know, we all know. Them niggas, when you late, they charge you by the minute. <laughs> so, you already not paying me enough. So, I got to be there. They say by 501, you already owe $5. Like, $5 a minute? Nigga, <laughs> I can't play. So, I got to fight Atlanta traffic straight through Atlanta and then to the west side. So, it's, it's a hassle, right? So the owner was like, when he hired me, no problem. Just come in earlier and then, you know, compensate for the time. So I was the type, I would leave the house at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I got to work at 6. None of the mother motherfuckers would get there till like 9.30. So by the time they walking in the door, I've been at work for three hours. So it was one of those types. Um, one of the guys got promoted and he became head of one of the departments. He used to be the same level that worked with me. And we were working on a project that was, um, it was getting close to the deadline. And it was only me and one other guy who could work on it. Just us two. And um, so he was asked, he promised the owner of the company that we'll have it done in like two weeks. Me and the other guy who work on it told him, there's no way. There's no way. Don't promise him that because it's not possible. There's not enough hours in the day and there's only two of us that could do the job. You throw 10 people at it, possible. Trust us two, it's not gonna happen. He went and promised the man anyway. So when he did a check, like a weekend, and he was like, well, how close are we? We are about 20% done. And he was like, okay, nobody leaves until you hear from me. So I told him, I was like, hey, hey Mark, um, you know my situation, right? Now, I was a, I was a team lead. So I had three people underneath me, but none of the people who were underneath me could do the job I could do. So I literally had to give all the people underneath me all my daily work and commit myself to doing that one project. So, and again, like I told you guys, I'd be there at 6.30 in the morning. I left the house at, at four, wouldn't get to Alpharetta until 6.30. From four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> get there and I'm busting my ass. So that was so I can leave by three o'clock so I could get back down to my side of town before five o'clock to pick up my son from daycare. And that was every other day. That wasn't every day. So this was one of those days. He said, it was like a Wednesday. And he said, nobody leave until you check with me. I'm looking at the clock. It's like 2.30. I'm like, all right. I walk around the whole fucking building. I'm looking for him. He said, hey. It's 2.30. I'm leaving in 30 minutes. Just letting you know, because you want everybody to check. I checked the whole fucking building. This was a 50,000 square foot building. The engineering department was maybe 10,000 square feet on its own. And he's in charge of engineering. He wasn't in there. So I walked the entire building. Couldn't find him nowhere. So I told my whole team, look, y'all know I'm leaving. 
Y'all know what time I leave? I've been doing this for five years, so you know I'm leaving. Okay, no problem. I left. No big deal. Didn't get no phone calls. Nothing. Everybody had my cell phone number. The next day, I come to work. 6.30, I'm out in the front. I'm working on a project. He comes in. I rate. Uh, where were you? Fuck you mean, bro? I'm working on his way. No, where were you yesterday? Working on his way. No, I came looking for you around 5 o'clock and you weren't here. I'm like, Mark, what are you talking about? 5 o'clock, I was pulling up in front of the daycare picking up my son. Who told you to leave? Uh, me, uh, the owner of the company, <laughs> uh, my son's daycare. Like, <laughs> it's a whole line of people who told me I had to leave. And he said, yeah, but what did I say? Um, at that point, that's irrelevant because you know my schedule. Right. Yeah, but I said nobody's elite. And I said, well, first of all, I walked this whole building. I talked to everybody in engineering. I talked to receptionists. I talked to people in accounting. Mm. I talked to, you could walk around. I talked to people in the warehouse. Nobody knew where you were. Mm. Well, you should have waited till you found me. What? That's not my job. We're both grown men. It's not my job to, to find out where you were. Well, did it ever call, uh, this is what the man told me. And remember, now I'm 6'4". He's every bit of 5'7". So now, him down here is like looking up at me. And I'm like, first of all, Mark, I need you to back up because you're too close to my face. All right? You can do that. You can say this without getting all up on me. And he's like, you heard me tell you don't leave till you check with me. I said, I told you. I look, looked all around the building. There's no way to be found. This motherfucker says to me, did you ever think to look in the bathroom? Yeah. No. I said, nigga. Mark, <laughs> I am not going in the bathroom looking for a grown ass man with his dick out. I literally said that. I heard somebody snicker behind me. <laughs> like, they start laughing. That was me. That was me. <laughs> I was like, what? 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 Yeah. I'm like, I'm walking around the bathroom looking for a dude with his dick out. Marcus yeah. Wallace. What the fuck? <laughs> And he goes, well, you could have waited. I said, Mark, I've been leaving the same time for five years. Right. David Gray blessed my schedule. The owner of the company. Mm -hmm. Our boss. The owner. So this is nothing new. Right. The man who said that this project got to be done, he's blessed my time schedule from when, we first, from when I first started. Five years ago. And I've been doing this ever since. So you just getting promoted is not going to change my schedule. It's not going to work. Okay, well, this is what you're going to do today. So, now remember, we got a week to get this project done. Uh -huh. And basically, I work for a company that we did all the in-flight entertainment and cabin management system for private and and, um, and business class aircraft uh -huh. at that time. And um, so we were working on a mock plane that was going to the CES trade show. So we were trying to get it done so the plane could get taken apart, shipped, and go to Vegas so that we could show all our new pro products and stuff. So the plane had to be done. Now, this project was like like maybe 22% done at that time. This man take me off the project, his own ego, and he's going to tell me, okay, well, here's what you're doing today. This man bought my ass into the warehouse and said, what you're going to be doing today is... You're going to be building scaffolding and shelves in the warehouse. And I said, Mark, do I need to remind you of what my degree and what my job description says? I don't give a damn about none of that. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Wow. wow. I said, are you sure about that? He said, yeah, I'm sure. You're going to be doing this today. And I said, so uh, the other guy who could work on this plane is already on a project out of town. So nobody could work on this plane. So you want me to stop working on that to work in a warehouse to put shells together? Let me worry about that. This is what you're doing today. I said, okay. I said, at the end of the day, whether I'm working on a plane or pushing a broom or cleaning the toilets, I'm salary, so I'm making the same amount of money. So if I don't have that stress on me, then I, okay, fine. I said, cool. Where's my, um, where's my, my PPE? Where's my belts and stuff yeah. like that? He looked at me and said, you don't need a belt. I said, oh, yes, I do. And he said, no, you don't. I've lifted these before, and it don't hurt me. 
I said, first of all, you don't know my problems. I got a bad back and I got bad knees. I can't be lifting these shelves. And the shelves literally stay on a two-man lift. Mm. Don't worry about that. That's what you're going to be doing today. I said, by myself? Yeah. I Ooh. said, you see right here where it says two-man lift? I would have let that shit fall on me. <laughs> we getting there. So, <laughs> we getting there. So, um, I said, are you sure this is what you want me to do? He said, that's what you're going to be doing all day. I said, okay, so now you're going to reduce me to a child because you want to punish me and try to teach me a lesson instead of just speaking your mind like we're adults, expressing what your your issues were, and then we go back and getting our job done. But you, you want to play this child game. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. If that's what you want me to do today, that's what I'll do. When David Gray comes and asks you why the plane isn't being worked on, because you can't work on it, mm -hmm. you explain to why the only person who can work on it is in the warehouse putting together shelves when there's warehouse personnel that put together shelves with PPE because every last one of them wear uh, harnesses and all this shit. Yeah. Okay, cool. The regulation. Right. So he came in early to see that. He came in like 7.30 in the morning because he knew I'd be there. Mm -hmm. So the floors had just got painted and everything. So it was a big thing of, shel of, of, of shelves that had to be moved. So my job was to take them from one side of the warehouse to the other side of the warehouse, and then move them from that side of the warehouse to work to the third side of the warehouse where they were gonna be put together. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do all day? Cool. So for people who know about the warehouses, they're the big orange shelves, the mm -hmm. real big mm -hmm. ones. Industrial so, shelves. Yeah, the industrial shelves. Mm -hmm. So I grab one off the top, and I pull it down. Bang, it's making all this noise, bang. And like I said, David Gray just got these floors painted. And this man was <laughs> proud. Y'all know I fucked them floors up. The damn hooks from the shelves hit that paint, tore holes all the way across the floor. Because I'm holding one side and I'm dragging it. <laughs> As you <laughs> should. <laughs> Loud as shit. I'm, I'm straight being the child. I'm straight being the child. He wants you like a child. I'm being a child today. Oh, I'm being a child. I'm pouting and everything. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking the floor. I look behind me. I'm like, oh, somebody gonna be mad. Somebody gonna be mad. I'm telling you, the floor ain't been painted three days. Like it's oh, the, it, it's that type of paint where when you walk on it. It sounds like Velcro because it's still yeah. it's tacky still, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's still tacky. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fucking these floors up. I'm fucking them up. like all the way across the floor. Mm -hmm. None of the warehouse people were there yet because they don't even got to be at work till nine. So, so they have no stuff. idea how bad I'm fucking <laughs> they shit up. No <laughs> clue. I get one bar over to the other side, drop it. Bang, 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 Walk my ass over, grab another one. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Go get another one. I got about five in. Now I'm getting frustrated because I'm doing this and I don't have no fucking audience. Like I'm doing this shit. <laughs> Nobody's seeing me do this shit. So now but I'm getting fucking mad. Though, right? They got cameras. Yeah, they do have cameras. Yeah, so, but nobody's there live. But nobody's there like, <laughs> yo, why, why are you doing this? Like, there's nobody I can express my pain to. So I'm, I'm getting madder and madder. So I'm like, all right, motherfucker. So now I'm like, really? All right, bet. So I grab two off the shelf. And I grab two, put one behind each side. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, I'm like doing this with my ear because I'm like, damn. <laughs> God dang, it's loud. It's, y'all can't, oh, you, you can't understand how loud it is. And it's an empty warehouse, so it's like echoing off all the walls and everything. Yep. I'm fucking these floors up. It's so many digs in the floor. It's so bad. So I get about eight of them over there, right? And then I look out the corner of my eye and I see somebody come in in the warehouse. Mm. So I'm like, okay, now I really gotta show out. Cause now somebody's Game on. here. <laughs> so I, I go past the look the stands and I go to the big wire racks. 
and they're stacked even taller than me. So I go to grab one, and as I go to grab it, I don't pay attention, and the bad boy, like, I grab it and I twist, and the bad boy falls. And when it falls, it falls on my shoulder and on me. So when it hits me, yo, I did my best LeBron in presentation. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! What was that? It was so loud. And I, I felt the pop, but... Yeah, I made it sound like like my back broke in half, but it, it, <laughs> it was a pop. But it wasn't like like yeah. I was just like, "Yo, call the ambulance. It's over with." It's wet. <laughs> so I'm on the floor, sounding like my great grandmother when she wanted her tobacco. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and they come running, and oh my god, like it hurts. But try to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> because these motherfuckers come running, right? And they're like, oh my God, what happened? And all of a sudden I hear somebody out the back. Yo, the shelf dropped to hit him on his head. I saw it. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. <laughs> you give me that thumbs up, like. <laughs> Good looking, good looking out, player. Good looking out. I'm I glad you've seen it. <laughs> I got to turn my head. I'm like, <laughs> dang, that was perfect. This shelf ain't hit me in no damn head, but it did today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. So, and so they go run. Well, who, oh, my God, that's so and so. They're like, yo, go, go, go get his manager. Who's his manager? Mark? They go running. And then Mark comes running in, and he's like, "Oh, Bear, you, you, you okay? No, get off me! No! <laughs> hey. Oh my God! Hey, were, were you were you in the gurney at this point? That's where you should have been. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Not yet. So I'm laying there on the floor. I literally got one leg on one of the the, the racks that I was dragging across the floor earlier. And I got the other leg on the on the shelves that I was dragging. <laughs> and I'm on the floor and I'm twisting. I'm like, oh, oh my God, the pain. Oh, the pain. This one was like, oh, okay, okay, nobody touch him. Oh, are you okay, Bear? Are you okay? And I'm like, get off me. <laughs> like every time he tries to get off me. And they're like, he's like, okay, let's get him up and I'll, I'll take him to the hospital. I'm like, no, no, I need an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, well, no, we don't need, I'll take you. No, he knows no, 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 I need an ambulance. Uh -uh. I need an ambulance. I think something broke. I heard it pop. I heard a tear. I need an ambulance. That nigga, he was so scared. He was so scared. So they called 911 and they come in with the with the gurneys and everything. They come yeah, running. Buddy. Fire department comes in, paramedics come in, like it's a big thing. It's like 12 <laughs> niggas in their office. And I'm laid out. What happened? <laughs> now I, I got my head turned, right? And they're like, what happened? And I hear old boy tell the story. Um, Bear, and they use my real name, but they were like, Bear was in here working and all of a sudden, just as I turned and looked, I saw the whole show come down <laughs> and hit him in the head. And then he just fell. And it was like, it almost looked like his neck broke. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> turn around to get it. Slow, slow, slow turn around. Like, my nigga. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, you heard what she said. <laughs> you heard what he said. That's what happened. You heard what he said. They were like, okay, all right, so we got to treat him as if he has a severe neck injury. Boy, they strapped me to the gurney. They put the neck brace on. They strapped my forehead to the gurney. They strapped my back and everything. And then, so I'm sitting there being quiet. I'm going, uh, uh, I'm doing all the moaning. Uh, uh. So Marcos, okay, I'll, I'll ride with him in the ambulance. I go, uh -uh, no. <laughs> They were like, sir, he does not want you to ride with him, and we are not going to stress him at this point. Yeah. And he's you like, okay. Oh, no, you got to work on the project. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mark, you better jump in that Civic. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So he follows the ambulance to the hospital, and he gets out. Like, I, So they bring me to the emergency room. They get me on the bed and stuff, and he's oh, sitting man. in the corner of the room. So I'm in the bed, 
And I'm like, I'm looking and I'm like squinting. I see him sitting there and it's making me mad. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so I'm getting mad. And he was like, it's okay, bear. I'm here for you. I'm like, if I had a gun, I'd shoot your ass. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm mad. I'm like, nigga, I'm here because of you. So the nurse comes in and she's like, are you okay? Is there anything I can do? I said, yes, I, I need more medication in my back. And she said, okay, we'll, it, we'll increase the tramadol and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, the good stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And she said, anything else? I said, yeah, get him out of here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the reason why I'm hurt. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn <laughs> You, you. Yes, sir. Oh, she, man. She was like, sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. The patient does not want you in here, and you're stressing him out. Oh, oh, okay. Um, um, Bear, I'm I'm just going to, uh, I'll be outside. And I was like, oh, God. nurse, can you make him leave? Because I'm really stressed, and I'm in pain. And she was like, sir, you're going to have to leave the hospital. Because you just can't be here if he's, because he's, no he's really freaking out. I'm like, oh. God. I love her. Oh. <laughs> I love her. Hey, hey so, she is on the side of justice. <laughs> so, long story short, and this is the point I was going to get to, but the story was hilarious. <laughs> the story was, I'm sorry, I had to take it there. So, after all that, you know, and I finally, after like three weeks, finally get back to work. And I'm at work, and they got me on like um, Percocet and uh, and... Uh, all types of anti-inflammatories and stuff like that, and I'm like, look, I'm woozy at work, and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm conked, like I can't even. I'm looking at the computer screen and it's doing a. So, um, they they decide that it's like, now he's worth more more hassle than he's worth. Mm. So after about three weeks, they, or after about another week, they're like. All right, Bear, so are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm still medi on medication. They're like, okay, well, when you get a chance, we need to see you in a conference room. I'm like, uh, no. Oh, so shit. I go in the conference I over, room. I it. <laughs> yeah, I go in the conference room. It's Mark, the, the COO of the company, the owner of the company's wife, who's the CFO, and a... Yeah. Big ass motherfucking sheriff sitting in the back of the room. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? Oh, man. So these niggas was prepared for oh, my yeah. black ass to go oh, post. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. They were like, yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So they're like, okay. So, uh, Bear, you know that uh, you've seen the town, the downturn, and we've had less and less clients. Um, so, uh, we're going to have to eliminate a few positions and we're going to start uh, with yours. So we're going to eliminate your position, um, but it's not your work ethic or anything. Um, so if you ever need a recommendation, we'll give you one. And don't worry, we're going to continue to pay for your 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 medical treatment and stuff. But, you know, it's just with the downturn and everything. But if it ever turns back around, you'll be one of the first people that we call to bring back. So, you know. And I'm like, so why you eliminate a position? Why won't you just do the traditional layoff? And I said, well, it's just more economical for us to do the elimination. And I'm like, who are we talking to here? Like, if you eliminate it, that means that you don't ever have to bring me back. Right. And if you ever need yep. a position again, you just create a new position. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who are we talking? As I'm saying that, old fucking big boss man, one man gang in the corner, Unlatching his motherfucking shit. Click. I'm like, hey man, you. <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I'm on medication. You ain't even gotta do all that. I'm simply talking to them. Don't pay any attention to me, sir. Just pay attention to what's going on over here. And I'm looking back at them. I'm like, excuse me, where where's David Gray? Like, where, where's the owner of the company? Cause all you motherfuckers don't matter. Cause I work for him. I need, I need that man. And of course, he's somewhere, you know, else in the world and not here. So I can't even talk to the man who hired me to be like, hey, this is what's going down. Mm -hmm. So they got me up out of there. And for those who know me, which you all pretty much do, I, I'm evilly petty. Evilly. 
So after they did that shit, guess who had OSHA on speed dial? Mm -hmm. Your motherfucking right. So I called yep. OSHA and I was like, they had me working with no PPE on and they had me dragging shit and now I'm hurt. <laughs> And, and they fire me. Nobody wears PPE, and that's why they fire me. So OSHA did something that I didn't know that they do. OSHA, <laughs> when they go in there and they perform a report and they see what's going on, whoever files the report, they will send that person a copy of the report. Mm -hmm. So I got the report back, and they fined the company $1,000 per incident that they found, and then they were going to get fined an additional thousand dollars per incident per week that the incident wasn't fixed but they weren't going to come check them again for at least another month and then when they came in it was unannounced so they just oh, showed up they just showed up like <laughs> roosevelt's Minutemen. They, they, they just came up in the spot like yo who's in charge we need to walk the spot they're like nah don't call them just walk us to their desk. Let's go. Yep. So all my people who were still working there, they were like, Bear did this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my good friends to this day, he called me. He was like, hey, Bear, did you call Ocean? I was like, you <laughs> fucking right I did. <laughs> oh, he said, man, that's a dope move, but you done fucked it up for the rest of us. Now, all of us sitting at work, we got on like four pair of gloves. We got on eight pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we ain't never had to wear all that shit. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I got him hemmed up, but that was a long roundabout story to, you know, when Sleep was talking about sitting in the office and they let you go when you just sit there. He said, at least in Georgia, when they scared of your big ass, them motherfuckers that had a sheriff sitting in the room with their hand on the gun like, wild out if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> they will lay you in a box right there on the spot yeah, in, Cali, in the south. <laughs> in, in, Cali, in Cali, you know it's about to go go down. First thing they do, like, hey, uh, go ahead and clock in. We need to have a car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you slowing down again. You said you, you need to have a conversation? Yeah. You froze sleep. Go ahead. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for it to get back. Um, all, right. all right, there we go. Hey, Cali, you, you know you know it's about to go down in Cali because they'll they'll be like, hey, go ahead and clock in. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> they tell you to clock in, and that's that's when you got to you got to pull the. Hey, I gotta go. I know nah, you, you can't talk to me. I'm not on the clock. You can't tell me what to do. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, that's now, the only thing. Catch, catch me if you can. Mm. Yeah, that's the only thing that pissed me off. I was like, you know what? Y'all could have did this shit before I got the fuck here. That'd be yeah. yeah. Like, no, I drove. They, they, I drove all the way to Alpharetta, man. That's a fucking fifty fucking mile. Nah, they, that's, that's need, need, right need, the need, need, need you to be on the clock. <laughs> mm. I was surprised yeah. you didn't speak to a lawyer, man. You could have got a case on that one. Well, I mean, they. I I did get a, a nice settlement. Okay. Yeah. At least you got something out of it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Because the workman's comp, um, workman's comp took care of me for about a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then workman's comp was like, yo, it's time to settle. And I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like these paychecks in my check every, 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 my mailbox every week, dog. This is fantastic. Like, I just, I just bought, I just bought a new car based off my new income. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing, I was ignorant to the whole process. I didn't even know I was supposed to be getting them. And when I moved out of the house that I lived in when I first started working there, I never updated my my corporate address, which yeah. for all y'all working at corporate, if you move, go to HR, update your addresses, because you never know when shit goes down. So for almost eight weeks, like after I got um, let go, Workman's comp was sending me checks that whole time, but they were sending them to the old address, and it I didn't know anything about Workman's comp. Yeah, but you didn't forward your address. No, oh. no, I had no idea. Oh. So they finally called me after two months, and they were like, "Yes, um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Bear, we're we're just wondering, you know, are you getting the the checks because you haven't cashed any checks, or we're just wondering what's going on?" And I. What checks? What check? And he said, oh, your uh, workman's compensation. I said, what? What, what? what do you mean? 
Mm. Um, sir, we've been sending out workman's compensation checks to you every week for the last two months. I said, oh, you don't say. <laughs> no, I, I had no idea. Wait, where you been sending them? And they said, told my old dress. And I said, ma'am, I haven't lived there in three years. And they said, oh, did you update your HR records? I said, no, I, I didn't even think about it. And they yeah. said, well, where do you live now? And I gave them my address and they said, okay, so you absolutely didn't get those checks. I said, no, I don't live over there no more. And it's been years and I didn't forward no addresses. So they said, okay, so we're gonna cancel all those and we're gonna resend all those checks to you. And then we're gonna start sending you a check once a week. I was like, Well, won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? Uh, uh, there's Jesus again. <laughs> Just when you forget about the day, he'd be like, yo, I'm here. <laughs> you had no idea. No clue. No hey, clue. One, were they one set of footprints in the sand? He carried me. I'm telling you. <laughs> and, yo, I was Tyrese. Cue the video. Like I said, we hungry. <laughs> Those times was getting real thin for me. I was like, man, I don't, man, the landlord looking around, he like, and, had, yeah. and then they kept sending you money after that. Yeah, for how long? It just yeah, it um, it was after that point. Like I was getting the workman's comp checks for another full year and a half. Wow. But they after the first year they were like, it's time to settle, and I was like, I don't want it. I don't want it. And then they kept sending the checks. He's like, "All right, it's time to settle." I'm like, "I don't want. It. I'm not. Nope. Nope. I ain't get that. I don't, I don't want it." And then finally, they were like, "Hey, if you don't settle, we gonna stop these checks." I was like, "Okay, we'll, we'll settle. How much?" And they were like, "I think they said their first offer was like five grand." I was like, Psh. <laughs> "Send the checks." <laughs> 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 Okay, <laughs> and they upped it considerably. I think I I went back and forth with them about four times, and then after hey, that, whoa, 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 don't don't say what it is. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. But after okay. <laughs> going back and forth, the it was comfortable enough for me to say, okay, I'll. <laughs> I guess I don't need the workman's comp anymore. So they said that, and I was like, okay. And then of course, you know, um, people were saying. You stupid, you could have got and I was like, man, I ain't even know I was supposed to be getting what I got. Right, so <laughs> you, you were just happy with that. Exactly. So. I was like, yo, I licked the void a year and a half. <laughs> I was yeah. like, plus the the part afterwards. But yeah, they got hit with over like seventy five thousand dollars worth of OSHA fees on top of um you know, the money and insurance that they had to pay me for the um workman's comp and shit. So and now that now they're in the radar for OSHA too. Yeah. So price checks once in a yep. while. Yeah. Just yep. another one of those big bad stories that kind of stick out. Mm. But yeah, that was that. that <laughs> if y'all could have just heard the noise that the I can I can imagine I'd have been in plenty of warehouses. <laughs> and I'm I'm, I'm like picturing I'm picturing like these beautifully brand new epoxy floors. Uh huh. Shiny gray. Shiny. Oh. Brand new. Man, you mad? Uh, man. <laughs> And I'm <laughs> fucking those floors. Oh. Did they ever even say anything about the floors when you hurt yourself? But you never, they never. Honestly, said that's that. probably why they fired me. <laughs> 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 that, they All the rest the of that, they probably would have dealt with. But that motherfucker said, get his ass the fuck up. You know how much I pay for these goddamn floors? Yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and, 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 that, and that's why he wasn't in the meeting. They yeah. didn't see that Did until they... after you came out the hospital. Did you yeah. ever find out what happened to that dude? That made you do it, your former. Oh boss? no, he was fine. He he still worked there and everything. Oh, you know, wow. he, you know, because you know, th there's no there's no fallback on him because insurance takes care of everything. Yeah, but that's why oh, I went. Like, why was he at the warehouse? He's an engineer. Right. I I wish somebody could answer that question, but nobody nobody could answer that question. You know, because I'm sure that meeting was between him, the owner of the company, and the COO. And well, none of them was the, opening their lips on on that to the, me. There should have been. I'm, I'm sure that there should have been another question that was asked. We're like, okay, now he's hurt, and the other engineers out of town. How are we gonna get this plane to Vegas? Right, right. 
So, and that alone would have been like, okay, you promised me, or you you said that you you and your team is going to be able to meet this deadline, yep. and you got you got somebody that I hired to do this specific job, and you got them doing bullshit, right? right. He, but he get hurt. More than likely, so, I ended up bailing them out. Scapegoat, huh? You were probably the scapegoat. Yeah. And I probably yeah. bailed him out by me getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Then it became, well, get the other guy who's out in Jersey on a plane right now. Get him back. Send somebody from Bears team out to Jersey to finish that plane so the other guy could come back in and he could work 24 hours a day working on a plane by himself to try to get it done because Bear got hurt. So Doing bullshit. Yeah, it was bullshit. But... Um, yeah, but officially, for those who don't know, but I know, and for you know, he should know. But uh, uh, uh damn it, I can't remember his last name, or I would say it right here. But Mark, you're on the list. You're on the slap list. <laughs> when I see your ass, just be ready for it. I'm gonna slap the shit out you, and I'm gonna offer you a sandwich. I'm telling you. So don't even act surprised. Don't even ask about it. Don't sit there. Oh, my God. I wonder what. You know why. And this way back from then. If I, I'm telling you. I ain't even going to walk. I'm literally going to walk up on you. I'm going to see you and be like, it's that, man. I'm going to walk up on you and let as soon as you see my face, before you have a chance to run or react, slap. <laughs> I'm slapping the spit out of your mouth. Like hey, he, deserves, sh- he, he deserves a special slap. Do. He deserves I'm, a special slap. I'm a you need to, right While you're swinging, you need to yell out, Shelves! <laughs> <laughs> he deserves something special. I'm going to slap the shit out of him, dog. And then offer him a sandwich. I'm like, you all right? Come on, man. Get up. It wasn't that bad. Get up. No. He's he, he about, uh, he, he he about, he about to fall. He about to go, he about to, go to LeBron. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah, call he gonna, ambulance. He going to fall. He going to fall. He a little dude. He going to fall. He going to fall. He going to be like, oh. Call the ambulance. Yeah. And when the ambulance get there, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I am a whole white man. This gentleman is lying. I am a white man from Ireland. Yeah. Bef- before we get started, let me yeah. pull up my, my ancestry so you can see. I know I know it clearly looks like that is nine percent white. Oh god. I know what it looks like on the surface. Nine percent. I know what it looks like on the surface. As a white man, but you, you need to know Scandinavian. Okay, you, so by Hitler's standards, I am six percent Aryan, perfect nation, blonde yep. hair, blue eyes. So now on percent. Okay, when I when I fill out anything, whether it be voter registration or application for for anything, I'm putting white and other. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to ask Bear. For here on out. Yep. White and other. I qualify. So, <laughs> right at the bottom of my driver's license, WHT, here on out. That's it. 6% <laughs> Scandinavian, 3% Irish, yeah, 3% English. They never get I'm 6%, I'm 6% hey. British, <laughs> and 6% Scandinavian. <laughs> what did they still say? They said, in all games, you niggas money. <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. So, yeah, but that's that was all in fun. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so um, once again, I apologize for commandeering the conversation, <laughs> but no, I think we got to answer. Good. So that was very <laughs> 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 Hey, when I feel sad and blue, I think about me dragging the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mark, Mark, you on that floor, and he's seen his life flashing before his eyes. He's like, oh my god! Oh my god. It's a whole just, nigga on the floor, laid out. And it, I just, I just bought that Honda Accord. Oh my god! I'm about to fire. Yeah. Why are you bullshit? He literally had just bought a vehicle. Like he had mm-hmm. just bought like a brand new. I think it was a Mountaineer or something. No. A brand new one. Like, soon as he got promoted, within a month, he had bought a brand new oh, he was, SUV. He was, happy. Mm-hmm. he was happy. And he was showing out. And yeah. so did I. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. I tried, y'all. I really did. I tried to be, I tried to take the upper ground and say, you know what? I even said to him, I was like, yo, whether I sweep the floors or clean the toilets, 
or I'm doing the engineering work. It don't matter. I'm salary. I'm getting paid regardless. I literally said that to the man. But then once he left and I was in that warehouse, <laughs> that little it was on my shoulder. He's like, this nigga got you in here <laughs> dragging around stuff like you the hired help. <laughs> I just, and I was so mad. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You so looking mad. at the shelves and your little imps like, yeah, go ahead and do it, Django. <laughs> go, ahead and, go ahead and drag themselves the way Masa wants you to go from one end to the other. And then you remembered. You remembered right then and there. I am a whole white man. And there's no way, there's no way that I should be in here doing this without PPE. Bruh. And that man told me, you don't need no... You don't need no PPE. I've done this before, and I got a bad back, and it's fine. Mm. And I would have talked to a lawyer, man. Right away. Hey. I didn't know no better. Yeah. What's that? OSHA. <laughs> Yo, you, you have no idea how fast I called them. And the lady I spoke with, she was like, you don't say. I was like. Man, I don't know if you taking me seriously or what. <laughs> like, I don't. All these extras that you say, and I don't know if if you're like, hey, go no, one. You really? see, no, no, no. See, th- at the time you didn't understand because you didn't know you was a full white man. But if you was a white man, you would have understood all of the the little the little huh and don't you know right and all, all those little things you would understand. <laughs> yeah. My Can buddy told me, like, that's right, that's right. Mm-hmm. He was like, my buddy told me the whole account. He was like, yo, I was up there because the, the receptionist was kind of cute. And so he was up there like talking to her. He said, yo, they came in like six or seven deep and they all had on suits. And they were like, yo, who's in charge? And she said, well, the owner's out of town, but the COO's here. And they said, OK, we need to speak to him. And they said that as soon as she goes to call him, she said, no, no, no. Show their badges and said, "Take us to his desk. We need to see him right now." Don't and no had to, yeah, nothing. had to take him behind the secure doors and everything. They said, "We are OSHA. There will be no hurry up and no, no Joe Clark." Oh, team, a Joe Clark. Get those teams off the doors. The enemy is here. There will be none of that today. <laughs> none. No and time they, for a cold blue. None. And they hit them for every last thing. They walked all the manufacturing. They walked the warehouse. They was like, yo, where the PPE? Yo, um, why your bottles ain't labeled? Um, where's the walkway showing this? How come the door is locked over here? How come this door is locked over here? Hit hey. them up. Thousand like, dollars every hit. They're like, where's, where's your bathroom? Go in the bathroom. Why you ain't got no butt gaskets in the in, in the toilets? Where you came and hit them niggas with everything. Where, where, you, where your ass gaskets at? No exaggeration. <laughs> the report they sent me was an inch and a half thick. I know you was sitting there. I was like, got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> oh, OSHA sent you a Christmas card. It was like, thank you for your service, sir. <laughs> Man. No, they was and they were they were in there talking about me. I was like, the legend lives on. They were like, we know this hey, was that's bad. All I want. We I just know. Them know that was me. Yeah, hey, she they sit in front of their computer right now with like nine like nine pair of gloves trying to type report with a face with a face shield. <laughs> <laughs> like nine pair of gloves. Like this is some bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they was bad, but they were like, we know it was you. Mm. I was like, I never said it wasn't. Yeah. I said, but thank you. Yes. Yes, it was me. Damn, yep. hey, I ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> you, you, ever, you ever drive past there like Snoop and, Snoop and Baby Boy? It's too fucking far. It's oh. <laughs> too fucking far. <laughs> <laughs> roll the, roll the, roll I've driven the past the you know, exit you roll, before, but you roll the, it's you roll like the window five miles off the exit. Huh? You roll the window down a little bit, and the window be right here just so they know it's you? <laughs> And roll it back up. Be, <laughs> drive off. Beating some West Coast drive by music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. Nah, but I think um, David Gray sold the company a few years back, and the new company was still doing stuff, but they did things a little differently. But um, yeah, but they they took the hit that day. They they ruled the day that they fuck with the King Bear, David. 
I showed my pettiness. <laughs> like, That's crazy. Yeah, and I was already getting the OSHA checks by then. By the time I got the report, the checks were already hitting the mailbox. I was like, well, good. Shit. Hey, OSHA broke you off. They was like, thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate <laughs> right. that. Because we hit, we hitting them hard. And yeah. balls. We hitting them hard. <laughs> they came in like dang busters. They were like, yo, don't shred shit. <laughs> don't unlock nothing. We want to see it all. And they got him. They caught him with their pants down. Perfect timing. Oh, my God. All right. So, I think that's going to wrap up that portion. Anyway, we're going to get ready to get out of here. I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Every dude a cutie. Big sleep from the West Coast. Somebody ready to go. Yep. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great one. Peace.